Let's truly return to tradition. Let's truly return to tradition right now. We bed pilled. Let me tell you something. I've actually not been bed pilled for a while. I've been, I've been in, I've been out like a hawk over them hills. Okay, I've been, I've been in uh, the front room mostly, chilling on the couch. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, it started when Dotesmite was over here, because Dotesmite's on the desktop computer most of the time. And so I just wanted to be in the same room as them. Um, that's one thing. And then another thing is, it's it's winter. And, uh, well, my room... Oh, I cleaned my room, by the way. It, it might not look that much like I cleaned it, but I, I, I know this is this is shocking. This is shocking to many who follow me, but I actually cleaned my room. Like, this whole... This whole area, hold on, let me just untangle myself from all of these wires. This whole area used to be covered in clothes and trash and shit. I mean, you can still see some remnants, a couple of remnants, a little bit of remnants, right? But generally speaking, I cleaned. Might not look like I cleaned mainly because of this, but yeah, this was all like old pizza boxes and shit like that. So yeah, I actually cleaned my room, which might be surprising. I mean, I just need to figure out a place to put my guitars and shit. It's not good. And I want to I want to get rid of this cupboard and or this wardrobe and replace it with uh, some shelves. I think that would be really helpful for me. But anyway, I've been chilling. I've been chilling here. As you can see from the tissues, I'm kind of sick uh right now. Um so there's a lot of tissues everywhere. I normally throw them out at the end of the day before I go to bed. I know it's a, it's a weird system. It's a bit of a weird system, but that's just how I am. And then chilling here. Another thing is I've been on my Mac a lot recently. Um, and I think part of the reason for that is... Uh, Okay, well, hold on. Let me let me get things straight here. So I've been chilling here a lot, and one of the reasons is because I got into the habit of doing so when Dodsmite was here. The other reason is this this thing. It's it's like vaguely cold, like it's like winter becoming spring. It's like vaguely cold. It's like cold enough that occasionally I want to put the heat on, but just a little bit. And that's why just being able to turn this little electric heater on is is quite nice because I can just turn it on and then turn it off, you know, for like just a little bit. Whereas in my room, there's only central heating. I guess I could just drag the electric heater into my room, but it feels like a pain. It would get in the way, I feel like. Um, and then the other reason is it creates a sense of wakefulness that I wake up in my bed and then I do some unhealthy shit like scroll Twitter for an hour or whatever. And then I'm like, okay, I need breakfast. So I get up and make breakfast. And then I'm in this room and then I'm in this. And then it's like, this is the room that you be awake in. And then like, this is the room that you be asleep in and it creates the separation. And so now when I go in here to chill, I kind of feel like I'm about to go to sleep, even though it I'm not about to go to sleep. But of course, the advantages of, of, of remaining bed-pilled and returning to tradition um, are numerous. Um, one of them is, this is giving me, this is the primary one. This is giving me back problems. Um, that's, there's nothing else more to it. This, 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 sitting on the sofa is giving me back problems, uh, which I don't, I don't want back problems. Um, and another thing, is uh, being in this room means being in my room that is more customized to me with my my Itabea stuff, you know. Uh, and that's nice. That's generally nice. But there's a problem, which is it's it's like after getting used to this room, you know, this room seems really dark now. 
and obviously I can open the window, but the window faces my laptop, so it produces glare, which is a little annoying. But this room does feel very dark, which also kind of fucks with me because I, this is also the sleeping room. So it's like I come in here, it's dark, it's where I sleep, I'm in bed, and my brain becomes sleepy. But I don't want to be sleepy. Um, but I think it's fine. I want to return to tradition here, mainly because of my back issues, is, is sort of what's going on. Um, and another thing that I want to do is return to tradition in terms of using my ThinkPad. I've sort of stopped using my ThinkPad, which is bad. I know it's really, I, I talk a lot of shit. I talk a lot of shit and then I don't do nothing, right? It's not good. I shouldn't be like this. But, um, you know, as much as I hit the hit, I installed OpenBSD on my ThinkPad. And this might have been a mistake. <laughs> this is basically where I'm at. But also the ThinkPad is just old as shit at this point. And I've also, like, I should definitely... Here's the real, here's the real situation. Okay, let me just explain the real situation to you. There's a, it's a threefold problem. The fold number one, internet. So, um, OpenBSD, I haven't, I haven't bothered to try and set up Wi-Fi. And honestly, I don't want to do that. <laughs> it sounds like a pain in the ass. Um, so I've just been using, uh, ethernet. Now in this room, I have this ethernet cable coming over here. Right, I've got ethernet cables coming out the wazoo, okay? I got ethernet everywhere. But the one that leads to my room, you can see it down here. Then it sort of goes over here and then under the bed and back over here, which is a weird way of doing things. But there it is and there it connects. Um, but the question becomes, it doesn't even work, basically. Like, I don't know what's happened here, if it's a problem with the cable itself, or if it's a problem with the connector, like the, you know, the I.O. of the laptop itself, but it has problems. It sort of comes as disconnected, it doesn't work, and then it does work, and then it doesn't work. I don't really know what's going on with it. I, I actually think it's a, it's a problem here with the wiring where it, it connects, like, this little bit. Um... And so that's number one, is I should probably buy a new long-ass Ethernet cable that is not the cheapest possible one and is, there, you know, more robust. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is the actual ThinkPad itself is pretty old. And uh, on the one hand, I have been... It's needed to have the thermal base rep replaced uh, the entire time I've had it, and I've, I haven't done it. And it's obviously only gotten worse. Um, which I think is like started to negatively affect the performance in a real way, uh, which is bad. And the second thing is since I've, in, I've like reinstalled like four different OSs on this computer and, you know, wiped it and reinstalled everything multiple. Like, I think the hard drive is also kind of cooked at this point. So like what I really need to do is go through a reapply thermal paste and buy a new hard drive. Um, or at least swap out a hard drive with some other computer that I have or something and buy a new ethernet cable. And honestly, that's just a lot of effort. And so instead of doing that, I, I've just been using the, the Macintosh computer. Now it's not like this is my only option. Okay. I have, I do happen to have one more ThinkPad that I could be using, <clears throat> which does have Wi-Fi. Dolts my old ThinkPad. It's down there. Which might be what we're doing. I think the play might be this. Um, X230. And so I think I'm going to try. This has Manjaro on it, I believe. Um, it does have the shitty X230 keyboard, but it's not that bad. Um, I think obviously the older keyboard style is better, 
but it's not a deal breaker or anything. Uh, right, so, boys, after 10 minutes of rambling, the plan is simple. Um, the goal is to have an otaku limit experience. You know, another thing that I've fallen off of is otaku media and anime in general. See, I'm sick. I'm, I'm blowing my nose. I wasn't just making that up to excuse all of my wank stained tissues. It's actually real. I'm always sick. Uh, where was I? Right. Yeah, I think this has Manjaro on it. Um, ne Neo Fetch. It doesn't have a screen fetch. Yeah, Manjaro. Um, Yeah, this is still Dolt Smites. Everything's Dolt Smites. Like, it still has Dolt Smites username and stuff. I don't know. I kind of haven't used this that much because because of that, partly because of... I don't know. Uh, the point being, I want to I have an, an otaku experience to reinvigorate myself because I haven't been... Watching any anime or reading any visual novels or doing anything otaku style for a while now, and I think I kind of lost the drive to be interested in these things, and I'm a bit confused as to why. I think it's because I haven't had a strong experience of moe in a while. Um... I think the last thing, I mean, I've watched a couple of anime in the meantime, but what I need is a strong, a strong reminder of the, the power of Moe. Um, I've just been doing other stuff with my life. Ever since I got addicted to Team Fortress 2 and then subsequently quit, that kind of performed a hard reset on my life, right? Like, after spending... 14 hours a day playing TF2 with no room for anything else for, for like months um, and then and then quitting it kind of performed a hard reset on my life and I've had to rediscover myself um, and and I haven't committed to discovering the essence of Moe and that's what I need to do I need to discover Real Moe has never been tried. This is this is actually the thing. I'm trying to have a, a limit experience. Um, but the first thing to do to have a limit experience is to fix this goddamn computer. Because you can't have a limit experience on XFCE with no keybinds that don't even work on a computer that doesn't even isn't even you, isn't even yours. I mean, I put a wallpaper on it. This is this is my wallpaper, my strike, which is wallpaper, not not dot smites. Um, but that's all I've done, and it, it's it's not acceptable. This needs to have um, this needs to have some sort of. I feel like I feel like I need to I need to set this up to become a a, a machine for producing an otaku limit experience, which means. Um, I mean, we have Linux. I'm not going to bother installing a different OS on it. We'll just stick with Manjaro for now. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll switch it out for Arch or something. Um, but I need to, I, th I think I, I think to, to truly have a limit experience, I need to have a tiling window manager at least or some, something other than XFCE. So that's what I'm going to do. So I just spent... A long time. I spent a long time searching and looking and wondering in wonder. I was like, what what is what what is an otaku limit experience? Because that's really the problem I'm trying to solve, right? This is not a question 
of this is a question of discovery. You have to discover this, that these these things. Okay, I have to figure out what it even. And the first step is what even does the question mean? And that can be narrowed down to which anime do I watch? <laughs> and that's just the beginning. So I spent like half an hour trawling through Mal trying to make a decision. Um, one of the things that I thought of was. Uh, liquor, licorice recoil because I, I have a friend who's really into that anime and kind of wanted to watch it for a while. But I watched the first like few minutes of the show, first 10 minutes, not 10 minutes, first, um, maybe about 10 minutes, I don't know, of the first episode. And I don't have anything against the show, but it's not an otaku limit experience type show. It might be a good anime, you know, from what I watched, it was very well animated and well voice acted and so on, but it's not a core otaku work, right? Um, so I went looking for, for other shit. And uh, then I was struck with my first first conundrum, which is like, if you're looking for an, a true otaku experience, and well, first we have to narrow something down which is otaku is, is too much of a broad term, right? Like, you know, you have the, the Tetsudomania type otaku, you have Sonen otaku, you have all type of different otaku, right? Ani ota, eroge ota, right? You have so many different, different varieties. And I've generally considered myself to be a moe otaku. Um, but... The, this leads me to a question, which is, it, does Moe even exist anymore? Um, which is a scary question I don't like asking, because the answer might be no, and that's that's not something I like to think about. Um, but definitely something that we can say for sure is that there was a period of time which can be classified as the Moe boom, um, which is probably from around, I consider it to be the decade from 2004 to 2014, um, kind of dying out towards the end there. Um, but it could, you know, you could argue it stretches back to around 1999. Um, there's no definite, I, I don't know if you can necessarily put a definitive date on the Moe boom. Uh, but that's generally agreed upon to be the, 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 the peak of, of Moe, not just in anime, but in otaku circles altogether. Um, and so, if you're looking for an otaku limit experience, should you be going back in time? Is this a question of rediscovering something from the past, or is it a question of um, the evolution, the continuous evolution of otaku? In other words, you know, modern uh, otaku culture maybe has shifted towards VTubers, for example. Um, so, if I'm looking for a true otaku experience, should I be looking into even anime, or should I be trying to watch Furamoko Morning or something like this, right? Uh, and it's a it's a good question, um, but I don't. I think it's kind of. I don't. I don't know. I think it's kind of missing the point a little bit. Like I, I agree uh, that I. I mean, basically, the the answer that I the the conclusion I've come to is why not both. That like, otaku is continually evolving, but then at the same time, there's something which I also need to ask, which is like, am I trying to rekindle some lost love that I have, or am I trying to discover something new about myself? Um, so like, I'm not that into VTubers. Am I trying to get into VTubers? Is that something? Is that something I'm interested in? I don't know. Or am I trying to be like, well, there was a time period when I was super, super, in, you know, watching three anime a day or something like this. And like, is that what I'm trying to rekindle? Um, I don't know. The, I, this, is, this is why it took me like a really long time because I was just sort of sitting there thinking about this stuff. And I was like, I don't, I don't really know what to do. Like, if I try to think of previous times when I've had otaku limit experiences... It would be um, the first. The first one I ever had was the first time I watched No Game No Life, which is something that you can never recapture. 
that that's that's a that's a gone feeling that's a dragon that i can't even chase anymore i've been chasing that dragon my whole life and that dragon is long gone okay let's let's actually admit that to ourselves um you can't recapture the feeling of the first time you watched no game no life the first time i watched an otaku anime and i was like oh this is for me they made this for me that's crazy they make things for me i didn't know that i didn't know anyone made things for me um that was yeah that's a feeling i mean i've rewatched no game no life like so many times now that and i've read the the light novels like you know it's just i don't think that's the direction i wanted to go in um i kind of wanted to stay away from rewatching something maybe i could rewatch i thought about it i thought about rewatching something i'm not sure i kind of want something new but then there's the problem which is that i've when it comes to anime in terms of the the moe boom anime like we're, we're sort of heading towards something which is like cute girls doing cute things michi joke type anime right like that's that's if you're thinking of otaku limit experience in terms of moe otaku and in terms of me not being um an idol otaku like i w- i really wish i could get into idol stuff because there's so much depth there right like pause i mean i i this whole video was kind of inspired by pause's most recent video i don't know if pause watches my channel but uh, that guy's fucking great. But he, he went to Comicat and made a video about it. And that, that was very inspiring to me. Um, I mean, I was already interested in this before watching that video, but that, that gave me an extra push. Uh, but he's like a big idol master guy. And I've, you know, because I admired him and I admire his videos, I, and I think he generally has good taste. I've tried to get into idol master uh, and I, it, it's just not for me. Like I just, I, I'm not into idol music. I'm not into idol culture. I, it just doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't, it doesn't give me the spark of moe that I get from the stuff I'm into, like, uh, either my sketch or something, uh, which I think is another reason why I can't get into VTubers because VTubers really are rooted in idol culture. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of something that never really clicked with me. Uh, so I, it's probably not going to be an idol anime. Uh, in terms of 2000s moe, the other genre would be harem. Uh, there's a lot of mediocre harem anime from the 2000s. Uh, I've watched too much of it. <laughs> and frankly, as much as I've watched it, I haven't enjoyed that much of it. I think most of the anime that mean something to me deeply are uh, the the Nietzsche Joke, you know, Hidamari sketch, Gotchi Usa. Um, like when I think of Otaku Limit experiences that I've had in my life, I think of Hid- watching Hidamari sketch. I think of watching uh, maybe some parts of Monogatari, which isn't really a niche show. It's a com- kind of a different thing, but still uh, like Shaft anime, maybe Pani Pony Dash. The time I watched Pani Pony Dash on Ambien, uh, that was that was definitely an, an Otaku Limit experience. Uh, and then, you know, maybe watching Mahoraba, for the first time and uh most recently i think it has been tamayura has been the the anime that's really sparked something in me i think tamayura is a masterpiece uh criminally underrated show i think you should all go watch tamayura it's amazing um but then you know that's that's one side of things but you know as when it comes to to anime so i'm i'm on mal i'm looking around i'm trying to find something that would spark something like this with me and there's a few shows that i think have these potentials um one of them is uh ga art design class one of them i don't remember the then i can never remember the name of this but it uh i always remember that the acronym of the show is kkk which is very funny uh I've, it's, I've forgotten what the, the actual name of the show is. Uh, that's something that I've kind of been thinking about watching. Both of those shows are, are things I've been thinking about watching for a while. And then, weirdly enough, the other show that I've thought about watching, which is not one of those, is a modern show, comparatively, is Blue Archive, um, which is based on a mobile game. Mobile game. Um, 
the Blue Archive, I forgot what it's called, but it's it's like a an eight minute per episode slice of life anime spinoff of Blue Archive, which is supposed to be good. Um, so I thought about watching that, and that might actually be what I do, which is weird because you wouldn't expect that to be like core Moe. But the thing is, of all the I've watched, I've already watched all the two thousand Moe except for like the those are the two shows. Like literally, I'm kind of scared to watch uh, GA and uh, the other one. I mean, there's obviously others I haven't seen. Like I never finished Konohana Kitan. I never finished uh, Urara Made Made. Choru made of you. I forgot. I forgot the, the the name of it. The one with the Awu girl, the girl that goes Awu. Um, those are two shows that I never finished that I should probably come back to. And then there's some shows that I dropped, but I feel like I maybe shouldn't have dropped. Uh, like Endro, for example. Um, Endro had Moe, uh, like a a pretty substantial amount of Moe, but I also found it kind of boring. Um, which is weird. There's not normally two things that go together with me. Um, but yeah. Uh, but then, uh, this is where I really got to thinking is like, if you're looking for a limit experience, is anime even the place to go? Um, like here's a, here's a couple of things to pay attention to in my mind. Firstly, Japanese otaku, at least as I understand it, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, they don't tend to watch old shows. They tend to watch m- currently airing anime primarily, um, which is something, you know, I've always had kind of a strange relationship with currently airing anime because like most Westerners, I got into anime via the methodology of marathoning shows, right? We're watching shows all at once. Um, and so that became my core understanding of anime and so trying to flip that and watch anime episodically it becomes frustrating because i i get to the end of the episode and i'm like okay let me watch the next one and it doesn't exist and i get mad and then you know oftentimes by the time a week rolls around and the next episode's out i'm i'm over it i'm doing other things with my life and i i forget to i forget to remember (laughs) that, that the show exists uh, and then, like a month or two months later, and I randomly remember, oh right, I'm three episodes into that anime from last season. Eh, it wasn't that good. I, I'll just drop it. That's no. That's what happens to me so many times. I mean, I, I can't. I, that 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 exact process has happened to me on a number of occasions, and it's pretty annoying. Uh, but also, I've had lots of good experiences watching anime episodically. Uh, as it airs week by week. Um, so I, I don't know. I'm kind of in a weird position there. I'd like to, I don't know. I, I need to figure out what's going on with me. But is, is an otaku limit experience involving watching currently airing shows? Is that part of the essence of otaku? Maybe. Maybe it is. Um, but if you're watching currently airing shows, you can't be watching shows from the Moe boom. Like I, I, I'm watching um, that. Uh, I forgot the currently airing show about magical girls. Uh, I'm sure one of you will know what it's called. That one, uh, and that's a pretty good show, and it's pretty otaku centric, and I, I think it's that's 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 what it's all about, really. Uh, and also, I've been watching like Hoshizuka Telepath and stuff, but I never, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to point this conversation somewhere that I'm kind of losing track of. Like, here's the question: Is is anime even even where we need to be? Is anime even where we need to be? I already mentioned VTubers. I don't think VTubers are where we need to be, but um, you know, there's there's also these other important otaku mediums, specifically manga and visual novels at okay uh and in terms of manga you know i go through phases where i like read a shitload of manga like i've been kind of on and off reading um the gotchiusa manga uh and also this manga called um yuri yuri you what the fuck is it called <laughs> holy fuck i think it's called yuri gumi yuri meguri you 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 megud fuck 
I I need to double check what the what it's called. It's actually good as fuck, and you should what you should read it if you're into lesbians. If it's a you, I is it called Yuri Yuri Gumi Yuri Meguri or something like that? Uh, I it's it's a manga time Kirara um manga, which is how I found it. I think it is. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's a really good manga in my opinion. Uh, but I never really stopped reading manga, and also the thing of the the the. I, in order to actually have a limit, exp- I've never had an otaku limit experience with manga. Like I've had good experiences with manga many times, but they're they're never as intense because I think just sensorily, um, there's there's less going on in a manga compared to a, an anime or something. Um, but in terms of deep otaku medium, you can't really go further than eroge. And I think this is something that's important to point out is the 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 role of Echi in all of this. You know, one thing that I've been concerned about in terms of the trends in anime is the trend away from Moe and just towards Echi without any Moe, uh, which is something that disgusts me. And, uh, as I think humanity is going down the wrong path there. You know, there's I I I like. There's there's nothing wrong with fan service, etchy, edo stuff. In fact, th- there's lots right about it. That's good, but um, I think moe has a niche appeal, whereas just sex appeal in general is much more broad, um, and it misses on a particular niche of otaku sexuality. I think of particularly the the moe elements, which I think is being lost. Which is kind of sad, but if you want that, maybe you need to look in the true otaku medium of uh, eroge. Uh, which is why I'm then sitting here thinking, maybe I should pick up a new eroge. Uh, the last eroge I read was Rewrite, which I thought I didn't. I never finished all the roots. I think I did three of the roots, um, and also. Uh, Kinero Love Reach, uh, Love Reach, uh, which also I didn't finish all the roots, but I finished most of it. Um, Kinero Love Reach, I, I thought the art was a little subpar. I wasn't that into the art style, um, although I did I did enjoy it. Um, I wouldn't say it was a masterpiece or anything. Uh, but I don't know that I've read enough classics. Like, I can. I, this is why I'm now at is like maybe the play is to read the Capo, or uh, Shuffle, or maybe some older key visual arts or the key key uh you know Canon or something. Um, which I read a bit of Canon. I, I mean, I've read a bit of all of these. I've, I've like opened <laughs> Canon. Uh, I mean, I actually read a pretty decent amount of it. Of, I, I, I read through the whole first route of Canon and then never read further. Um, which is kind of stupid. But I lost my save. Like, this is the problem. I, I would, I would finish both rewrite and uh, Kino Lovewitch right now. But I lost my saves, and I'm not playing through the whole fucking game again so i'm just considering those to be i don't know some sort of lost cause uh but then i i was looking at my posters and can i zoom in here so this poster is for a game called uh koini kami oswate uh which is not that well known um but it's a i read the first one uh which is pretty short and it's pretty clearly inspired by Gotchi so I think. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I, I, I own the sequel. And actually, this is something that... So this is basically where I'm at, right? Is this poster that I have on my wall is actually a poster for the sequel. And I've never read the sequel. Now, it's, not, it's a more modern eroge. It came out just a few years ago, I think. You know, it's not a classic of the genre like, uh, you know, Da Capo or something. Uh, 
But at the same time, I've always been very much of the opinion that it's it's morally reprehensible to have posters up that uh, from media or that you that don't actually know. <laughs> you know, like like read it, like wearing a t-shirt for a band that you've never you don't even really like. It's just there's something deeply wrong about it. And so I kind of justified to myself buying that poster because I was like, well, I do really like the first game. And, you know, the, it's the same characters doing the same shit. But technically, if you look closely, uh, somewhere, it does say, like, two. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in this text. I forgot. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, two. You can't even see it, but this is technically a poster for the second game. So maybe the play, the play for the, and this is a deep otaku work, right? This is a, a, a slice of life, eroge, I mean, moege, you know, it doesn't, I don't think it really gets much better than that. Sure, you can argue about the aesthetics of like a more early 2000s moe boom type of game, but I think at that point you're kind of getting too far into the weeds. And I think really the play here is, and also this is made by an independent studio, not by, which I think also captures some aspect of otaku in the sense that like it is about independent networks of creative fans producing works. Um, so I think, you know, even though I initially was making this video to say, hmm, what, which anime should I watch in order to have a powerful experience? I think the conclusion I've reached is uh, not actually to not watch an anime at all and to read this particular visual novel. So I think that's what I'm going to try. Let's keep it moving now. Yeah. Give me, give me full screen. Give me full screen this bitch though. What the fuck? What the fuck is the full screen? Am I crazy? Where's the fucking full screen? I don't see it. Okay, we're running into a problem. Uh, the game is crashing right near the beginning, which I'm assuming is when it's trying to play some video in some sort of proprietary video codec, uh, which is not working. Uh, this, often, this is like a pretty common problem with visual novels on Linux when they try and play their opening MV and they just they just crash. Uh, so I don't know how to fix this. I'm going to look around and see what I can do. You know, this is one of the reasons I don't like using this computer is there's a couple of issues with it. Firstly, I don't know if you can hear that, but the fan noise is really loud. Uh, there's some damage to the fan or something. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any effect on the computer's performance or the fan's performance, but it is really loud and kind of distracting. Um, and the other reason is, and I, I can't quite tell what's causing this to happen, the, like, power off menu just seems to trigger sometimes, and it's, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. Anyway, I'm trying to run this in Proton now, uh, just to see if that will... Uh, help. Uh, sometimes pro things work in Proton that don't work in Wine. If not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. So now I'm getting this DirectX error, which I'm gonna Google Translate. So unfortunately, it looks like um, even with various Wine tricks, hacks that I've used, they're not hacks, just things, I don't know what they're called, that I've used in the past, um, we're not gonna be able to get that to work. I might in the future try uh, some other things. I have a couple of other ideas about how I could get it to work, but right now I'm kind of, you know, I'm sick. I'm not feeling like messing around with that. So I'm going to try something else. Uh, let me look through my Eroge folder and see what I have here. We've got Shuffle, Hack on your Logic. Uh, if I remember correctly, this didn't work last time. Um, uh, yeah, it kind of... Oh, it seems to be working. I remember this being buggy, but... Oh, yeah, you can see the FPS super low. Oh. 
Oh, it's working. Stuff, I have a save? I don't remember this at all. At what point did I read this? Is this FPS low as fuck? Or, I mean, it feels... No? I'm confused. It feels responsive, but the FPS is clearly low. Maybe it's not low. I don't know what's going on. I guess I could read that. Um, or for something more classic, maybe the capo. Uh, a hug me tight. Yeah, now you see, this is some real shit. But this is only the trial. This isn't the full game. So, maybe not. I don't know, we're kind of, uh, kind of all over the place right now. Um... Oh, look, here it is. Yeah, this is some good shit, but it's it's a good game. I need to find the full game if I can. Because I only have the trial version. I think the only the trial version is translated. Um, not the full game. Uh... So, that's off the table. I mean, I guess I could play it. Maybe that's not such a bad... Maybe it's fine. Maybe I just see what happens. That that could be kind of fun, actually. You know what? I'm going to try that. I really didn't want to have to do this, but the world has left me no choice. I don't like going outside. I never have liked going outside. Of course. Anyone who claims to like going outside, uh, they're insane as far as I'm concerned. I don't like doing it, but <laughs> Food isn't going to appear in my house by magic. You know, I have this stuff. Uh, which is good stuff. It's a I actually recommend if you're a hikikomori to get into Huel. Because, you know, it's easy to fall behind on your dietary requirements. I recommend the hot and savory, I don't know, they changed the name of it now, they call it something different, but the, the ones that are, look like real food and taste like real food, not just a liquid, I recommend it, it's, it's very quick and easy, and it's good for you, and that's basic, and it's fairly cheap. Um, obviously it's, you know, in terms of the main advantage, in my opinion, is the speed and the healthiness. It's not that tasty, and it's not that cheap. Uh, but it's very fast to make, which is something that's quite convenient. But the reason I'm not eating it right now is because it's giving me stomach issues, which is pretty common uh, with Huel, mainly because it has a lot of fiber in it, which is good. But if you're not used to eating a super high-fiber diet, um, you, you'll get very gassy and you'll have some stomach problems. So uh, I'm trying to eat just one Huel a day, and then until I become sort of acclimatized to it again. Because uh, I've been letting the amount of fiber... I used to eat a higher fiber diet, but I've kind of been slipping recently. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, re slowly reintroduce this fuel into my body by not eating too much each day. Um, because the first day I had it, I had a really bad reaction to it. So 
it's very uncomfortable. So uh, I would no, I would otherwise just eat some fuel now, but uh, instead, unfortunately, I have to go to the shops, which is not too bad because I live in a walkable city. You know, I just walk five minutes and get to the shops. Uh, must suck being American, man. Uh, but still, I would really rather be just reading about body pillows. I can't have my goddamn otaku limit experience because Osaka Syndrome won't respond to my Discord messages about communism. I'm trying to fucking ask them questions about shit they said, motherfucker. You message me with something and you say, I'd like to explain this in more detail once I'm feeling a bit, uh, a bit less tired. And I'm, and I'm two days ago, motherfucker. And now I'm sitting here, I've been doing nothing but thinking about that in the back of my head. And you still won't fucking do it. <laughs> And I can't concentrate because I'm trying to talk to you about fucking commies. Dirty, big, dirty, stinking commies. Okay? Fucking, fucking bastard won't fucking respond to my Discord messages. I'll show you. Oh, oh, so so called Osaka Syndrome. So called Osaka Syndrome. The so called United States of America, KK. uh, Okay? I like it, can't focus. I got three trains going on in my head at all times. I got three trains of... I got 12 trains of thought going on. You know what I've been doing? It's Instead of doing my true calling, which is to read this visual novel, instead of doing that, I've been reading books I don't even agree with. I've been reading... I've been trying to... I've been... This is pathetic, right? What I'm doing right now... You know, this is how fucked up my brain is, okay? This is how this is how backwards I am. This is this is real shit that I should be doing, and instead I've been reading books. <laughs> and I'm like, that's bad. I shouldn't be reading books. Instead, you know what I've been doing? I've been trying to understand more more deeply various aspects of Marxist Leninists uh ideology. Uh you know, just to test it out mainly. I'm I'm I don't agree with it. Okay, I have some I have so I'm not going to get into it now. I'm not going to get into my problems with Marxist Leninism. Okay, they're numerous. They're numerous, as you could probably presume. Maybe you don't want to see a video about it. I probably won't make a video about it because that seems really boring. Um, you know, most people on my channel they don't give a fuck about politics, and that's completely reasonable. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm cursed. I'm cursed with having this curiosity about this stuff that mostly just requires reading a bunch of really dry texts um and what's fucked up about it is that i actually enjoy doing that and that doesn't make my life better it, it just keeps me thinking about stuff that doesn't matter i'm just thinking about all of this stuff all the time and i don't know why and because of that fucking S sleepy Joe Saka syndrome won't even respond to me on Discord about about these questions, and and now I'm stuck rambling about it on camera. I simply cannot do anything with this noise. Do you hear it? It's too fucking loud and distracting. I can't focus. I can't focus on the game. What am I supposed to do? I gotta figure something out. And fast. Hi, it's me, Editing. Thank you from the future. Then I proceeded to go on a gigantic side quest where I was trying to fix the fan noise issues in the X230, which I've realized now you guys can't even hear because of the inbuilt noise cancelling stuff on my phone that you literally can't turn off. Um, which, you know, I'm recording the video on my phone. Anyway, I went on, I disassembled the whole thing, I cleaned it out, I, I, you know, compressed it. I did as much as I could to try and fix the fan noise. Um, it was mostly surround, or oh, whatever, I'm not going to get into it, but... Uh, I couldn't do it. I, I tried, there's like 40 minutes of footage of me disassembling and reassembling the whole thing and clean and all of the, I just, it just achieved nothing. Um, 
So I just cut that out of the video because it was really long and boring and didn't go anywhere. But just know that that happened and that that was <laughs> a side quest. Anyway, now uh, back to past thank you for the exciting epic conclusion of the video. The conclusion of the video. Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you about the the the. Let me tell you about this. <laughs> so I was, you know, doing all that shit yesterday, trying to search for the attack limit experience, and then. Um, I kind of gave up because there were too many problems, right? And then I went and did something else for a while. And then I, in the end, just pulled up this Azure Lane anime, uh, on my Mac, you know, in a, on a fucking streaming site, right? <clears throat> and... It would have been the perfect conclusion to the video where it's like, in the end, what I did was let go of all the bullshit, right? And just like not care about the aesthetics of anything. Oh, it has to be a ThinkPad. It has to be the perfect early 2000s Moe visual novel obscure thing. And instead, you know, I just let go of that all and just pulled up a computer that worked and watched some fucking anime because that's what it's all about. Except that by the time I actually figured that out in my mind, I was half asleep and I didn't make it through. I only made it through two minutes of the fucking episode because I just passed out. <laughs> so th you can imagine that this is the conclusion of the video was that like, and then at the end of the day, I realized that none of that matters and you shouldn't be concerned about this because in reality, it's the, it's, it's this, it, this is what's important. Okay. It doesn't matter what's surrounding it. This is what's important. But then I just fell asleep and didn't actually watch the show. So, you know, I'll probably watch it now. But, hey, that's what the video is. That's what the video is about.